All right, in this video, we're gonna do some quick tips on how to do different types of calls, yelping, clucking and purring, coyote howls, even owl hooting. And as you watch this video, you're gonna wonder why uh, the little snippets are so short and the lighting changes, my clothing changes from one tip to the next. And that's because I made this video for social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, that sort of thing. So it's just a collaboration of little, little short tip videos I put together and uploaded to my YouTube channel. So that explains that. First off, before you watch this, I would advise you to go watch my Mouth Call Mechanics video and it'll explain everything I'm gonna talk about as far as the channel of airs and, and how to pick the right call because that's very important in order to produce realistic turkey vocalizations and be able to just control the call and make the sounds you want. I'll put a link to that video in this video's description. We're going to start off with yelping and then there's going to be clucking and purring and coyote howls and I don't know which order but you'll see. <laughs> so uh, we'll get started with yelping here in just a minute but like I said go watch my mouth call mechanics video. I have a left channel there and you'll understand after you watch that so I have to use a call with the channel there off to my left. I can't really run a, a ghost cut. I can. I kind of force the call over to the one side and access that next read that's uncut. Uh, a combo cut or any calls cut to the right. Uh, you can forget about all of them and get his rasp in it. So we'll start off with a, this is my reverse combo cut. This is the Prodigy L. I use a, the Hooks custom calls. Uh, they call it the Pro. It's also a reverse combo. And then, and then I have just a three read reverse combo, a bat wing I can run because it has a channel off to the left. But anyway, we'll, you'll understand all that after you watch the mouth call mechanics video. All right, let's do some yelping on a mouth call. Basically to get a yelp, I'm gonna hiss like a cat. It's gonna cause a channel of air to form in my tongue. It's gonna access this uncut portion of the, the reeds. I'll relax my tongue as I'm blowing that air across the reeds. That channel of air is gonna widen and I'll start accessing this cut portion of the top reed and get my rasp. It's all up to you how, how you like your yelps to come out. Do you like a lot of front end note? Do you like a lot of rasp? I like a lot of front. So you just practice transitioning and you can determine and you can decide how much front you want and how much rasp and, and play around with that and get the yelp that you want. All right, let's talk about how to do bubble clucks on a mouth call. I'm going to use an uncut call. Here's the easiest way to learn. There's no top read to create rasp. Basically, you're going to hiss like a cat. Gives you a nice steady flow of air. Push your tongue up against the reeds and you'll get that nice clear note. To do the bubble clucks, you're basically just stopping the air real quickly, push your tongue up against it, and you shorten the, the length of that clear note. And then you can play around with the tone you want by just adjusting your che cheeks, the tongue pressure, and the amount of air you push across it. And that's the basics of a bubble cluck on a mouth call. Alright, today we're going to do some clucking and purring on a mouth call. I'm going to use my Prodigy L call here. Basically whatever call fits your airflow. I'm using a left cut, so that's my airflow. Basically you're going to blow some air across the reeds and then just relax your tongue until you start getting that rasp. And while you're doing that, just start gargling with your throat. And that'll interrupt the airflow and it'll cause that little purr sound. And then to, to make it more realistic, just kind of close your mouth a little bit, constrict that airflow and it'll soften that sound. And I'm just throwing some wines and bubble clucks to add realism. So that's the clucking and purring on the mouth call. All right, let's work on our cutting today. Cutting is going to require a lot of air. And it's going to require you to better start and stop that air quickly. I'm basically building up pressure with my tongue, releasing it, and stopping it quickly with my tongue. 
And to dem demonstrate how I'm doing that, I'm gonna start blowing air across the reeds and increase that airflow. You're gonna hear a lot of rasp from that top reed and you're gonna start hearing a little bit of that uh, clean front note mixing in from that second reed that's uncut. And then stop it quickly with your tongue. And then just practice kind of huffing on the call, starting it, stopping it, let it build up pressure with your tongue and then release it and stop it real quickly. And it'll sound like this. It's a great call to lure in those spring gobblers. So you want to be able to do jake yelps on the mouth call and it's pretty simple. Just uh, do some hen yelps and then just start relaxing your jaw, relaxing your tongue and maybe even puff out your cheeks a little bit to get that deeper sound. It'll sound a little bit like this. And if you want to add some extra realism, just gargle with your throat a little bit to add in that that trill sound that Jake sometimes do. It sounds like this. That's all there is to it. All right, let's learn to do a gobble on a mouth call. I have my favorite little turkey call here. It's a reverse combo. It's called the Pro from Hooks Calls. Uh, any call with a gap on the left side I can run pretty much a uh, bat wing reverse combo that sort of thing Basically to do a gobble you just want to say ta Real quick and you're basically getting your tongue to pop up and down against the roof of your mouth there Now you want to kind of I don't know relax your cheese Create kind of a little bellow there. Maybe cup your hands to give a little sound chamber. And add in some Jake yelps and it sounds like a, a Jake gobble. Right, one of the common questions I get asked is how do I do a coyote howl on a turkey call? Basically if you can do a key key on a mouth call and you can do you know relax your tongue to get all that rasp you can do the bark and then the howl of a coyote so i'm gonna do a key key and then i'm gonna drop my tongue and relax my tongue to get that rasp and you'll see the two parts so i'm using the rasp to, to bark and then the key key part to do the howl and it goes like this So that's basically it. Just uh, do some rasp for your bark and then key for your howl. Quick rundown on my Harrison Hoop stick. This is the signature series, uh, limited run each year, so they're hard to come by. They also have a synthetic and a, and a walnut version. Those are easier to get your hands on, and they all sound really good. Three basic notes of an owl is a scream, which is primar primarily done by an owl in the fall and winter, but it's good for locating uh, turkeys. Uh, your basic eight notes, your, your hooting, that sort of thing. And then the cattle wallering or laughing of a barred owl. Basically, to scream, I just use a mouth call, though it's much easier than doing it on an owl hooter. And then um, to hold the call, you just cup it like this with your hand. Put your other hand around it at 90 to create a sound chamber, a little hole to let air out. I'm getting that roll by just fluttering my tongue to laugh. I just open up my hand. Here you go. Hookscalls.com.